Good evening, you two. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Here is our first episode of What We Wish Customers Knew. So I am holding Freya, a beautiful um, leopard ivory female. She is about 1300 grams and has been for about four months. Uh, yes, she is fasting. Um, now, I want to talk about this because this is something that comes up for customers a lot. My snake won't eat, right? Happens with lizards too, um, some species more than others, but with snakes it happens a lot. So there are several times um, for different reasons that snakes will fast where it's kind of normal for them to do so. When they first hatch, when they are first shipped, when they first reach, and I'm talking about ball pythons here specifically, right? When they first reach somewhere around a thousand grams, right before they ovulate and all the way throughout up until egg deposition, um, whenever else they feel like it. <laughs> uh, also, uh, kind of in the middle of winter, towards the end of winter, many of them as well, especially the older animals and really the males in particular, often go through a winter fast. Okay, so that's a lot to go over, uh, and I don't want to make this into a long video. So just know that those times, it's pretty normal for a snake to fast. Um, when they first come out of their egg, they've got a giant yolk that they just absorbed, huge meal. They're not hungry. They don't eat for a bit, right? Um, most of the time, at least. Uh, when they ship, that stresses them out. They, a, a stressed out reptile doesn't want to eat. It's kind of the opposite of people, right? When people are stressed, we stress eat. When reptiles are stressed, they stop eating. Doesn't mean they're dying, doesn't mean they're sick, doesn't even mean they're very, very stressed, but that's just one of their responses to stress is they stop eating for a while. Um, obviously a female right before she ovulates and all the way up through egg deposition, she doesn't have any room in her body. She can't eat, right? Um, and most of the time if she's incubating her eggs, obviously she's not gonna be leaving her egg pile to, net, to eat very often, if at all. Uh, the I don't know what to even call it, the thousand gram fast for ball pythons in particular. They reach that certain age where they're kind of going from a juvenile animal to a full adult animal. They have a fast right there in that, in that uh, range and that's where she's at. She is 1300 grams, which is only a few hundred grams shy of where most people say it's safe to breed a female ball python, right? So you'd think she's practically an adult, but she's not. Uh, we did not breed her this year, even though she was that weight. Look at her body. While her weight may be close, not quite, but close to um, the correct weight for breeding, she's still slender. She's not skinny by any means. She was eating before that spectacularly. Um, she's not you know, losing weight. She's not unhealthy. She's not stressed in any way. But her body is still a slender, juvenile shape. Uh, adult females that are truly mature adults, they look to the eye short and squat, right? Now all of these things are times where ball pythons might go off food, but the one I want to focus on most for you customers is right after shipping. Um, many, many people offer their snake food sometimes within an hour after opening the box, right? But certainly um, within a day or two. We don't recommend this, but many people do it. Often the snake does not eat. It's still stressed out from shipping. So please, dear customer, understand it is okay if your snake does not eat for even at several weeks after shipping. It really is. I, I am never ever going to send you a snake that uh, isn't eating well, right? In fact, that isn't eating perfectly well. So there's nothing wrong with your snake physically. It's not, it's not injured. It's not ill. Um, now, if you keep it in subpar conditions, it may become ill or injured, but when I get you that snake, it's in good condition. So it's not stopped eating because something's wrong, right? Your setup is hopefully perfect. Um, this was a, a snake with a good appetite. It's just stressed. Leave it alone for a bit. I know we usually tell people, hold your snake a lot because you want to get it you know, calmed down and socialized and all of that, but not until it's eating, right? That's the caveat. You want to wait until your snake is eating well for you, then go ahead and hold it a lot because um, 
you want it to, you know, not bond with you necessarily. Some people might put it that way, but get used to you. Understand you're not a threat, that kind of thing. So um, I, I think that a lot of breeders have taken flack from their customers because they send them snakes and the person's like, this snake doesn't even eat. It's going to starve to death. I need to take it to the vet. Why did you send me this terrible animal that's unhealthy? That's not the case. I know that that's your response and it comes from the heart because you're worried about your animal, but it generally is not that the breeder sent you a, a defective animal. Snakes can fast. Um, many of the snakes we're sending out are several months old, right? So if, if I send you a hatchling that's three days out of the egg, which I've never done and I never will do, but if I were to do that and it fasted for a month, maybe that starts to get concerning because it just doesn't have the fat reserves built up. But if I send you a seven-month-old ball python that's been eating every single week for its entire life, it can go several weeks and it's just fine. Absolutely just fine. Of course, you don't want it to do that. You want to see it eat. I totally understand that. Every time I get a new ball python, I want it to eat. But sometimes that doesn't happen. This girl hasn't eaten in three months, and I'm not worried in the slightest. Not in the slightest. She's fantastic. She's healthy. She looks great. She hasn't lost a single gram. Um, she's just doesn't want to eat right now. She's It's kind of two factors. One, she hit that size where many ball pythons just fast, anywhere from you know 800 to 1300 grams. They just fast for some reason. And the other factor is the timing. We're just coming out of winter, right? It's kind of early spring. Um, so hopefully she comes back on food soon. But many snakes fast at this time of year. Many reptiles in general just slow down in the winter time, right? Their um, caloric needs, how much food and energy they need is already low because they're a reptile. Then it's the winter time and their systems are slowing down. They really just don't need that much food and so they don't worry about it. They don't waste the energy finding food when they don't need it, if that makes sense. So I hope that wasn't too rambling. Um, I just wanted to show you an example of a perfectly healthy, beautiful snake that isn't eating and I'm not worried at all. I used to worry, but after having a lot of snakes do this to me and every single one of them has been totally fine and starts eating again on their own without any special changes or considerations, it just doesn't stress me out anymore. I will put one thing here at the end of this video, weigh your snakes. Do not guess. Don't look at it and think, oh, I think it's getting skinny. Just weigh them, okay? If your snake has lost you know, 10, 15% of its body weight, it's probably okay. If it's lost 25% of its body, I don't want you to stick by these numbers. This is just an example, but if it's lost a lot of body weight and you can tell me exactly how many grams it was and now how many grams it is now, that's important for you to know because there are snakes that get sick and stop eating because they're sick. You need to know that. If a sick snake stops eating, it's gonna lose weight, right? If a snake gets dehydrated, it's not gonna look good, and you're gonna to wanna to know what's going on. So I'm not saying never worry if your snake doesn't eat. I don't care if it goes for 10 months, it's totally fine, that's not what I'm saying. But uh, the vast majority of ball pythons specifically that fast, it's natural. It's totally okay, it is nothing to worry about. Every couple of weeks, offer them food, eventually they'll start up again eating, and many of them never look back uh, sometimes they'll just have one great fast in their life and then they're good from that on out. Other times they'll fast every single winter and there's nothing you can do about it except save money on rats. So that was today's episode of what we wish customers knew. I know many of you already knew about this, but uh, for those of you who didn't, I hope that I could put your mind at ease a little bit. Most of your snakes will arrive, they'll start eating right away, and you'll never have to worry about this. But some of them won't, and I don't want you to worry either. So thank you for watching. Go ahead and comment down below. Uh, we appreciate feedback. We really appreciate feedback. I'm not really into you know checking how many likes our videos get and everything, but comments specifically we really appreciate. So uh, please let us know what you think and any suggestions for this particular series we're doing about um, what customers should know. We will happily make videos about it. And until next time, we are the Reptile Bar. Um...